Joining me now is Seth Martyr, and he is 2015 MRS Mid-Career Researcher Award winner, and congratulations. Thank you. Very I don't know whether I'm happier to be a researcher or I'm still considered mid-career. <laughs> Either one, right? We'll Indeed. Take, well, congratulations. Um, now, your award talk is titled The Design of Organic Molecules and Materials for Nonlinear Optical Applications. So tell us a little bit about your talk. Okay. So uh, this evening when I give my talk, what I'm going to try to do is um, give the audience a little bit of an overview on what nonlinear optics is. It's not a field that rolls off everyone's tongue. And then I'm going to try to show how we've developed guidelines for designing uh, molecules and materials that enable uh, nonlinear optical applications that can be used for 3D microfabrication and all optical switching applications for very high speed uh, data processing. So where are we in the field right now? Well, it's a broad field. Mm -hmm. And I would say that there are different things with different levels of maturity. Uh, some of the materials are already commercialized. We have done work in the area of what are referred to as two photon absorbing materials. And these kinds of materials are being used commercially in two photon microfabrication applications. In the area of materials for all optical switching, that's um, further downstream. We're still developing the fundamental understanding of how to make materials understanding the limits of what the materials can do. And we are developing systems uh, where our collaborators can incorporate them into devices and really test their efficiency. That's stuff that is still at minimum five to 10 years out. Hmm. I know you touched on it, some of the practical applications, but can you talk about some of the future applications as well? Well, I think that the, the future applications are going to be a lot in the area of um, very high speed data communication and, uh, and data processing. And these are areas where, as you know, we are using more and more bandwidth for dealing with um, the transmission and processing of information through the internet. Everyone's heard now of cloud computing. Mm -hmm. This is putting huge demands on how quickly we can move data around and how quickly we can process it. It also is putting demands on the use of electricity in the United States. Mm -hmm. A non-trivial amount of electricity is using in data processing centers. And the, the ability to work on information completely in the optical domain as is uh, often said, can increase both the speed at which we process things and decrease the power consumption. And so I think that you're going to see a, a large push towards all optical signal processing over the next 10, 15 years. All right. Well, we look forward to your talk. And okay. thank you and congratulations again on your mid-career okay. researcher award. Thank you so much. Well. It's been a pleasure. Thank you. Nice to meet you. Cheers. Dr. Martyr's talk is being recorded and will be available several weeks after the meeting at MRS.org on demand.